Your mandate here at Voice of America is unambiguous, to be accurate, objective, and comprehensive, and to represent America. The mission of USAGM is to inform, engage, and connect people around the world in support of freedom and democracy. That's because expanding freedom and democracy are what America has always been about. You're the voice of American exceptionalism. You should be proud of that. The world needs VOA's clarion call for freedom. Now more than ever, I hear it wherever I go. That's what I wanted to talk about today. I tell, I tell audiences about American exceptionalism wherever and whenever I can, because it's true and because it's important. America is good and great, and everyone who truly grabs our founding understands this. We were indeed the first nation founded on the central belief that all human beings are endowed with certain unalienable rights and the governments are instituted to secure those God-given rights. We have always striven for a more perfect union. And goodness knows we don't always get it right. Therefore, we need both pride and humility about our past and our present. We need the truth. We can give voice to the voiceless in dark corners of the world. You're the voice of American striving. You're the voice of American exceptionalism. You are indeed the tip of freedom's spear. Now look, like many government agencies after the Cold War ended, our international broadcasters, well, they lost their way. Many of you know this. And there were, I'm sure, many reasons. The Soviet Union had collapsed, the wall had come down, names like bin Laden and Zarqawi and Baghdadi weren't widely known. In fact, many wrote that history was over. We allowed security protocols to lapse, and VA lost its commitment to its founding mission. Its broadcasts had become less about telling the truth about America and too often about demeaning America. Indeed, I'm not saying this uh, to ignore our faults. Indeed, just the opposite. It is to acknowledge them. But this isn't the vice of America, focusing on everything that's wrong with our great nation. It's the voice of America. It certainly isn't the place to give authoritarian regimes in Beijing or Tehran a platform. Your mission is to promote democracy, freedom, and American values all across the world. It's a U.S. taxpayer-funded institution aimed squarely at that. As I said before, you're the tip of freedom spear. Every week, 278 million people listen to VOA in 47 languages. There are Iranians who are listening to you, wondering if they'll ever be able to shed their Islamic shackles. There are Moldovans and Ukrainians who want truthful reporting, not Russian disinformation and propaganda. There are Chinese citizens who are tired of a regime that's done nothing but brutalize them since 1949. There are Venezuelans who want to know the truth of the Maduro regime's corruption. There are oppressed people all over the globe who still turn to America for hope. I want, to leave you, I want to leave you with a quote that conveys why the VOA's mission is so critical before I take some questions from Bob. This quote's from a ways back. It's from George Washington. He said, quote, truth will ultimately prevail where there is pains to bring it to light, end of quote. When America brings truth to the world, we bring light. Don't forget that. It's what you do. May God bless you. May God bless the voice of America. And God bless these United States. Thank you all.